Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Beto. He took us out for tacos the other night. We're getting ready to start the first stage here at Baja Rally School. Beto's one of the fast guys, so I stuck a real good camera on his helmet. He's gonna show us the fast angle. back there but I, I ended up on a gate. Want me to pull it? Today than yesterday. Oh fuck yeah. Better than yesterday. Yesterday I had a bad day. Everything fucking going wrong. So why are you here at Baja Rally School? Okay, I'm here at uh, Baja Rally. My name is Beto Berber. I have over 25 years experience of Baja racing. Uh, I, I was a rookie last year and I'm here to try to polish on my navigation skills to try to do better this year because we have a big project with Dirt Bike Magazine and put some miles on the bike and do some testing a little bit with some products that we have right now and see, come back again within a couple of uh, weeks and try to retest some more stuff and try to practice a little bit more of the navigation and the rally skills. Now, what's your, uh, your experience with um, Steve Hedgefeld? Uh, back in the 90s, uh, Steve Hedgefeld and me were co-writers for Team Green Kawasaki and T Steve has been the last three, two years winner of the Baja Rally. And he's one of the guys, him and Nino Rojas, uh, were teammates of mine uh, on my Baja experience racing back then. And they're the ones who convinced me to come and try this, or the new style of ri racing, uh, the, the rally racing, where you have to think fast on your toes when you're trying to go fast and navigate at the same time. So either you're ri riding fast and navigating at the same time. So you really have to really pay attention to what you're doing down here compared to the Baja racing, 100% on the gas. And here, you have to let off the gas a little bit. You're, like, you're riding at your 75, 80% probably, uh, because you have to be doing your turns and, and different scenarios that come upon you on your ro road book. Uh, sometimes it, it's more stressful in your head than the Baja racing, because the Baja racing, you just get on the bike and just go full blast. And here, you have to calculate more your moves with the timing or missing waypoints and have to, having to open up uh, the stages to keep on going forward. So I think this is more of like a chess game. Explain yeah, that. it's still a process. Uh, sometimes I, I, right now, I, uh, I sometimes go into my race mode and start making mistakes and then that's when you have to come back and kind of reset your brain again and say, hey, you remember, you're navigating, you're not racing full blast, so not the race mode, not Baja race mode, this is navigation race mode, you know, so you have to be in the markings that I do on my notes, I, I talk to myself sometimes and, hey, remember, we come, uh, right hand turn coming up, the wash, this rocks, a uh, uh, caution, you know, so it, it keeps you on your toes, you know, thinking ahead, and here, the, the good the good rally riders sometimes are reading two or three or even five kilometers ahead, you know. Uh, that's what makes you faster. And uh, it's always a constant thinking. You can uh, lose your concentration much. Uh, you lose your concentration for a couple of seconds and, and you're off or <clears throat> you're going to miss a curve or 
miss a degree or something like that. And so you really have to be like one eye on the road book and the other eye on the road. So you have to kind of be playing with your eyesight up and down, up and down. You know, it just it's not just like Baja that just focus on tunnel vision and just go forward. Here you have to, well, your eyes are all, everywhere, you know, looking around. Oh, thanks. <laughs>